These are the Niamgari Hills in eastern India, and these are the people who live here. Around 8,000 of them, members of two primitive tribes. They depend on the land and its dense forests for food and water and consider the hills sacred. It's this land that UK-based Vedanta wants to mine for bauxite. The company has been trying to get permission to do that for five years, but its plans have been fiercely opposed by human rights activists who say it will endanger the local tribe. Some investors, too, have withdrawn support. The Church of England sold off its shares in the company earlier this year. Now India's Environment Ministry has handed down a final decision. It will not allow Vedanta to mine here. There is no emotion, no politics, no prejudice. I have taken the decision in a purely legal approach, said the Environment Minister. His decision comes two weeks after a report commissioned by the ministry found that allowing Vedanta to mine in this area would deprive tribes of their rights and cause serious ecological and environmental damage. Vedanta could not be reached for comment about the decision. In a controversial battle between a private company and the people of the land, India's government has decided to side with the people. Malika Kapoor, CNN, Mumbai.